guys, welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkan Wiersma, also known as EJ. This is a bit of a strange intro because um, I thought that I was recording with that camera. Turned out I did only turn on my second camera and that, not that one. So I, at this moment I'm not completely sure what I did film. I will try to uh, get some uh, uh, shots from that camera in so we can have a bit of look i just took it out of the pot and it was a lot of struggling but it, I, I think it was kind of funny seeing me try to get this big one out but uh yeah it didn't go as completely as planned so i, I apologize the, the the footage is a little bit different than usual so i'm going to just yeah i think we can do it like this uh, but yeah uh, maybe i can lift it i have no idea i have an old leaf here that can go um, probably going to make a mess. Yeah, I'm debating on if I'm going to lift it and see if I can just lift it out of the pot or not. Um, well, let's try that first. I don't want to break any pseudo bulbs, of course. So, try to get the older ones, not the new ones. I see several, uh, yeah, several new growths actually. Okay. No. <laughs> I thought already that wouldn't work, but yeah, I needed to try it, of course. Um, okay, I'm going to move it and then just put it on this tray. I think actually, yeah, I'm not used to having this large plants repotting, so I needed to adjust the setup a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm going, just going to tilt it a little bit like this. Let's see if we can get some money out. First, let's see what we can do. So quite a lot of media on the back. Get out first. Yes, there it goes. There is movement. I needed to do this the other way around, <laughs> apparently. So, yeah, I'm trying to do this fairly slowly, so don't, don't want to break anything, of course. Oh, guys. This is something. This is something. Let me see if I can get my hands in there and probably lift it. No. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry guys. Like I said, I'm not used to doing this a lot. Well, luckily, yeah, I don't like repotting them, and especially the big ones. For obvious reasons, I can say now. But, yeah, it needs to come out. It is out. Okay. So I'm going, just going to take it from here and uh, start uh, upputting this orchid. So yes, you guys, I apologize. I apologize. It's just, uh, I was, I thought everything was running, but it wasn't, sadly. But anyhow, this uh, is the new pot. I'm not completely sure if I did show it well. Well, I did show it, but if I record it. Here are the holes, so this is more regular semi-hydroponic setup. Quite a large pot, I'm sorry for the noise. This is the pot I just took the orchid out of, and as you can see, it's quite, quite bigger than it was. So I hope I can grow this on for at least two years in this new pot. Let's hope so. So yes, I, it's, yeah, it's a bit annoying. I'm so sorry that I did uh, miss the first part, or at least a lot of it. But now um, we're going to up it. And I was explaining uh, the roots, that I was leaving the roots in there. So if I missed recording that, yes, I'm going to leave old roots there because uh, I found that with the uh, healthy orchids, they, they really are not that bothered with the old roots. As long as you don't have too much rotting old roots there, it's okay. Even though there are some are uh, brown, that's because of the fertilizer types I use and the additives. Uh, so I'm, I'm used to it. 
and I know that a lot of them are just alive and I see a lot of new roots on this side of the plant. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Like I said, I, uh, I didn't have any troubles with it, uh, repotting it like this. And actually I uh, read uh, somewhere, some articles that if you have good bacteria, which I'm more focusing on uh, these uh, last past years, but if you have nice bacteria in the pot, they will start eating the old roots and leave some beneficial uh, sort of fertilizers behind. I've, I believe it's nitrogen and some other things that those bacteria make. So that's, uh, those are beneficial for the plants. So if you have a nice balance, just you can leave it. I leave it. I'm not saying you should do it, but uh, this is how I do it. Anyhow, let's make some room for the up putting parts. Here we go. So yeah, it's a little bit, uh, bit messy uh, over all, the, over, all over the place, I should say, because of the size of the plant. So yeah, that's why I probably I missed re hitting that record button. Some new media. Uh, first, yeah, I'm going to put it in and just see how it looks. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is heavy. Sorry for the noises, you guys, that I make. Um, is it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking if this is the right height in a, plant, in a pot for the plant. I think so. Is it nicely balanced in the side of the pot? And I mean by that, is it not too far in this side, too far to this side? Here's a new growth. And where is the other one? There is one, and here, so let me check. Uh, yeah, it needs to come a little bit to the this side. In front I have enough room, so I'm here uh, with where my hands are, <laughs> but to the sides. But yeah, I think this is nice. And what I said, well, I, I said in the intro, not sure if I did record it completely, but I hope to... Uh, can grow this on for at least two years. So, yeah, it's 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 going to work for two years, I think. If I look at like like this, if I look at the room that I have left. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. Now I'm going to put in uh, back used pumice. It's inorganic media, so you can reuse it. And well, obviously this one had a lot of. Uh, media left there but i like to reuse some old media especially uh because of the good bacteria that are probably in there and we don't want to waste those well at least i don't so i'm putting it back i really like to do that nowadays so here we go so i can Put this one, <laughs> this tray to the side to create some room. Let's turn it around. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe I need some extra pumice, but I have, whoops, more. So now I'm going to fill up the, the spaces in between. You know what? I'm going to grab the camera so we can have a close look. So yeah, I thought this is the easiest way. So we can have a nice close look inside of the pot. And you can see here, there's a new growth. So this will be probably here. There's one year and a second year, I think. Something like that. More room and new roots coming. So it's a beautiful time to do a repot on this one. And look at this. We have still quite some room over here. And there, we even have a new growth in there and in there. So I, and actually it makes another one in here in that sheet. So this is putting out more new growth than I thought. So yeah, and to here, let me remove that leaf. I'll put it out of the way. There's one and there's one. And quite some room here. So yeah, I hope that's enough for two years. I'm not completely sure, but I see more new growths than I thought. So that's 
always good, of course. As you can see, this bulb is not that big either. That's also new growth. So that's nice, very, very nice. New one here. Yeah, and all the bulbs are just leaving there. So yeah, it started all from here and then it started to spread around. And I think it's beautiful. So some pebbles left, that's not the end of the world. It's okay. I will fill it now up with, uh, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, pebbles, uh, with pure pumice around it for the wicking efficiency, of course. So let's have a look. Here is the pumice. Um, turn it around a little bit and make some noise. Nice, fresh pumice. <laughs> for this very big nice market. Whoops. So that's going to look like something already. I don't have enough pumice. Yeah, here in this container, but I will get some more. So yes, I'm back, you guys, with new pumice. And uh, I didn't mention it, but I obviously I used the uh, bigger pumice. Let me... So uh, for the bigger, thicker roots on this one, and nice air gaps for those roots. me try to move this again to make it a little bit easier for me <laughs> so it's starting to look like something oh my what a promise I need for this one <laughs> obviously because of the big pot that is okay there we go. Actually, I don't need much pumice here. So now it's time to put in the pebbles. And I'm going to use my newer pebbles. Um, where do I have them? Here. Oops, okay. So, there we go. And I love these with fails as well because of the thick, fleshy roots. And this one has now such a, such a big pot so a lot of water will be in there so a little bit more air uh, would be appreciated I, I think so that's why I'm starting to use uh, bigger pebbles for this one as well sorry for the noise but yeah that's how these things go very very noisy <laughs> I'm going to give you a look again because it looks beautiful with these uh, big, big pebbles. It's so nice. Yeah, I really, really love it. So I'm going to take up the camera again so you can have a close look. This is so, so beautiful with those very large air gaps in there. I think uh, this orchid, this orchid will uh, absolutely appreciate it. So, whoops. <laughs> Let's put it to the sides and I'm going to grab the camera so we have a, a last a look at this one, a close-up. So yeah, here we go. You see what I mean? It almost looks like a rocks, very big pebbles. I really, really love those air holes, those gaps there. I already can see roots going through them, finding the moisture down there. And it really looks very nice. So yeah, I really think this one is, uh, like I said, going to enjoy it. Some small pebbles over here, just the leftovers. And I, there I started with the bigger ones as well. So let me uh, go over here. So yeah, we have some older leaves over there. I, I normally don't cut them off. Uh, but as you can see, this is the new growths. And those will produce those beautiful new greens, green leaves again. But yeah, these are the older ones that happens. 
yeah, overall it uh, looks very pretty. So I'm going to go, uh, put it back and then we can uh, do a comparison how it looked before and how it will look now. So this is how it looked before. And this is how it looks now. <laughs> so yes, quite an improvement, I think. A room to grow again. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, we need also uh, to water this one. So therefore I have that drip tray underneath there. And uh, well, let's see how this works and put some water in. So yeah, I have my uh, water here. So the fertilized water, just a little bit, around 80 parts per million, I believe. Here are the holes, drip tray. And let's see, this holds about three liters of water. I have no idea how much water it goes in here, but uh, let's have a look. Here we go. So obviously there's media in there, so it's not only water. It can go in. Don't see any water come out yet. Oh, there goes a lot of water in. Over two liters now. <laughs> Almost done. Look, there's a little bit of water left of three liters, so it holds quite a lot. Yeah, there it goes. I saw some movement over there inside of the pot. So almost there. Mm. Yeah, not sure if you can see it on camera. Uh, this is three liters. Maybe you can see. Um, I see the glare from the water. So it's just about the level there. I hope you can see it. I see it really literally just behind the edge of the pot. So three liters goes in. That's quite a lot of water. But I'm going to leave it like this because I can see the, the level now. Sorry that doesn't show up that well on camera. Let me try it like this. Maybe you see some glare there. Yeah, I think you can see it now next to that pebble there. So that's uh, the water level. And this is uh, how it looks from above. So you're in a very nice big pot. If I even could put it to this side, I even have some room left for some smaller pots if necessary. But it really looks beautiful. It's such a beautiful orchid. And it was so heavy, you guys. I did forget about that. But now with the pebbles, the pommers, the big pot, it was a sort of a weight uh, lifting to get it here. So yeah, I'm not going to move this around much. But uh, yeah. It, I think it's going to work. So yeah, it's a little bit uh, messy video. I hope I could make uh, something nice to look at out of it, out of the footage that I, that I did have. I apologize for that. But um, yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, uh, I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.